Hi, my name is Ravi Shankar Pegada. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to deploy VM series on GCP in active passive high availability mode. Also discuss the deployment architecture and how connection tracking is going to move the active connections from active to passive instance on HA failover. Here are the use cases in which you can deploy the VM series firewall in active passive high availability mode. Terminate IPsec VPN on the VM series firewall and provide visibility of actual client's source IP address to the backend applications and in the case where we want to have the session synchronization to happen to the passive instance which means on HA failover the active session should not get impacted. These are the major use cases in which you can opt for active passive high availability on GCP. When it comes to HA failover time, it's approximately 3 seconds during which the existing sessions will be moved to the new active instance so that the sessions will not get impacted. Here is the deployment architecture that we are going to use for demonstration. Over here, we can see that both the instances like we have two VM series firewall instances deployed in active passive high availability mode. Uh, which are front-ended by the public or the external load balancer on the untrust side of the firewalls and there is an internal load balancer that is front-ending the trust side of the firewalls. And we do have a spoke VM that is hosted with a web server or the Apache server installed and we are going to utilize that to showcase the connection tracking and session synchronization on performing HA failover. In this case, it's the load balancers who is going to switch the active sessions from the active to the passive instance on a HA failover event. Let's now try to understand how to deploy VM series in active passive high availability mode. For that, we have our public documentation uh, which talks about how to deploy VM series in active passive high availability mode by using the Terraform templates that's available publicly as part of Palo Alto GitHub repository. Uh, let's see this in action. You can go to this uh, public documentation that is available to deploy uh, the VM series in active passive high availability mode on GCP just by following the instructions that's available over here. So uh, for that, let's try to follow the instructions and see how we are going to deploy the firewalls or the VM series firewalls in active passive high availability mode. First thing, we need to go to the GCP console. You can go to console.cloud.google.com and log into your uh, project so that you'll be able to execute the commands by going to the cloud shell that's available over here. Let's try to connect to the cloud shell now. We are now uh, connected to cloud shell. Let's go ahead and enable the required APIs and generate the SSH key. For that, we are going to execute these commands. So just copy this command that is available and execute that as part of the terminal. So you just need to authorize so that the command will be executed. So we are now going to uh, generate the SSH key, uh, configure the passphrase for the SSH key. So we have generated the SSH key now. Uh, we are going to clone the GitHub repository where we have the Terraform templates to deploy the VM series firewalls in active passive high availability mode. Just copy this git clone command and go ahead and execute that within this console. So we have copied the content from the GitHub repository. We can now go to this directory. So uh, let's now check the contents that's available within this directory that we have got from the GitHub repository. So over here, you will see all the Terraform scripts that are required in order to bring up this active passive high availability VM series architecture. So let's now update the Terraform variables. So for that, we are going to make a copy of the example uh, TFRs that's available over here and just open the TFR file. So over here, uh, you will see that there is a pre-filled contents that's available. Uh, we just need to update the project ID over here. For us, in my case, the project ID is TME Demo Sandbox. I'm going to update that. So I have updated the project ID. We can leave the remaining content to default values. If you want, uh, you'll be able to update as per your network infrastructure. So for example, the CIDR block for the management and trust 
Trust and HA2 VPCs, you'll be able to provide as per your architecture or as per your infrastructure on GCP Cloud. Just to identify the resources that we are going to create, uh, let's try to prefix with a particular string so that after deploying the resources using this Terraform template, you'll be able to just search by providing this prefix so that you will be able to identify all the resources that you have created. So for this, I'm going to prefix that with demo lab and we are done with that. Let's now go ahead and apply the Terraform configurations that we have done over here. So after executing Terraform apply, uh, it will start deploying the uh, resources. So key in yes over here so that it will build the entire resources that we wanted to as part of the high availability deployment. This is going to take a couple of minutes. On successful deployment of the resources using Terraform apply, you should see the output as shown over here which will display the external load balancer SSH and URL and also the active and passive VM series public IP addresses. In order to validate the resources, let's try to go and check for the resources using the prefix that we have used while uh, deploying the Terraform templates. Let's for example, go to the VPC networks and try to search for demo lab. So here we can see that there are a couple of VPC networks like trust and trust management and HA2 and it is being prefixed using this uh, demo lab. Let's try to click on this and trust VPC and see what is being configured here. Uh, we can see that by going to this and trust VPC, you'll be able to see all the details related to the infrastructure that we have built using Terraform. Let's now uh, log into the firewall instances. Let me click on this link. So you'll be able to get the login credentials from the GitHub repository from where uh, we have cloned the resources. So the username is admin and uh, password is Palo Alto at one, two, three. So I'm going to copy that. So log into that and also similarly, I will log into the passive instance. Make sure you don't have any space while copying the password. So let's log into the passive instance also we are able to log into both active and passive instances and we can also see that the uh, high availability is being enabled over here and the mode is active passive so uh, let's now try to uh, log into the backend uh, one of the spoke vm which is a web server by performing ssh so if you are not able to log in, please change the permissions of this uh, SSH key. So we should be able to uh, log into this web server and key in the passphrase that you have provided while generating the registration string as part of our initial step. So we are able to log into this backend spoke VM. Okay, we are at this uh, home Palo Alto directory. So let's now try to perform HA failover and see what's going to happen to this uh, SSH session that's going through the firewalls. So this is mainly to demonstrate the session synchronization capability so that even after HA failover, the same SSH session should be intact and that should not have any impact. So for that, let's go to the active instance, go to the operational commands and we are going to use this suspend local device for high availability. You should uh, still see the same existing session active and running. So we are able to execute the commands, which means the existing session is still active even after performing uh, the HA failover. Thank you.